Welcome to my slur test guide on cows. These are very easy. In fact, they're only level two. And for each one you defeat, you'll get 55 combat experience. And while you are on a slayer task, you will get six slayer experience. These do drop bones, coins, for whatever reason. I don't know how a cow gets money. But yeah, they do drop coins, raw beef, and cowhide. All three of these drops are very expensive, so if you want, you are able to pick them up, bank, and then sell. As for the Slayer Masters, number one will be Jacqueline, who is found at the Lumbridge Castle. And the second Master, or Masters, depending on your quest line that you have completed, will be Turdo or Spyro, who is located at the Burtorb Lodestone. Before we actually start, there is an achievement that I would like players to do while they are doing this task, and that would be getting a meat tenderizer, which you can either, if you have started the recipe for disaster and you're fairly far in it, you want to go to the Lombridge Castle, to the basement, and then go to the chest to the east, right click, and you'll want to buy items. Afterwards, just purchase the meat tenderizer. Or, if you want, you can go to Grand Exchange and buy it that way. Afterwards, make your way to the Taverly Lodestone. Once at the Lodestone, we will be running north to the cow pen. For whatever reason, these cows will only drop coins. No other cows will. So, it's kind of helpful. Although, again, it's kind of weird that cows drop coins. I mean, like, what, they eat grass filled with coins? Not really sure. But anyway, you want to just simply attack them. They do have 1,100 health, which it should take probably a hit or two, depending on how low your stats are and the abilities that you do have unlocked. Now, if you do have 45 magic, you will have access to the chain ability, which will kill three cows at once. Now, like I did say earlier, you are able to pick up the cowhide, the bones, and the raw beef, and then the NPC directly to the west of me. You're able to tan them using one coin for normal leather or hard leather for three coins. In which case, this is a very popular low-level crafting method. And then just north, maybe like eight tiles or so, there is a general store NPC that you can trade and sell the items back for money. And then you'll just pretty much repeat this forever. Now, while you are killing these on a Slayer task, you will get this cow right here in the background with icons spinning around. This is a super cow with... Your meat tenderizer, you want to use it on the super cow, and you should get the achievement. Afterwards, you are able to kill the super cow for an increased amount of slayer experience. While you are doing slayer, you will always guarantee to get one super cow every task. Very, very rarely, you do have an option to get another, although it's very unlikely. If you are doing this off task, that super cow will have a rate out of 1 out of 1,000. So I highly suggest players to get the achievement at the same time. And then right here, I am showcasing that uh, to make the leather and the hard leather. Once you do that, you're able to make any type of crafting, depending on your level, for free crafting experience. Because again, these cows do drop GP. Which, I mean, it's pretty handful and good if you are a new account. In fact, this is a popular method of getting up to 22 crafting or 27 to cut uncut sapphires. Thank you all so much for watching this and enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, or comment down below any video suggestions or questions you have. And I will try to answer them and enjoy the rest of your day.